I run for 10 kilometers every two days and uh, I, I do not like to change so I, I, uh, I, I like to, to, to find a track and just run the same track every two days and, and uh, the reason I do not like to change is that when I run it's not that I, I um, sometimes I do that but um, it's not about looking around it's um, not thinking and uh, if you if you don't want to think then you, you need to know the track you are running. <laughs> Science to me is this tension uh, between knowing and, uh, and wanting to know, not knowing and wanting to know. I had so many questions and that studying philosophy was not bringing me closer to the answer. And uh, it was then that I decided that science and not philosophy would be my profession. I was not concerned with the, so much with the mind, but with uh, things, objects, what was real, and uh, uh, why, why, we, why we, we have an external word, and what does that mean that it, this is an external word. And um, um, then I, I studied neuropsychology, and uh, it, was, it, it was suddenly very clear that this depends on the brain that there is a link, a connection between the word, even the external word, and the fact that we perceive it as external and the brain. And this is what I wanted uh, to understand better. It was, it was an evening and I received a phone call from uh, one person of the, now it's a friend, but one person of the administration from the university and uh, he told me, you got the grant. I said something like, I'm very happy. And uh, on the phone, he told me, you, you don't understand. It's the ERC grant. And then I remembered that uh, I was standing, not sitting. And uh, um, I couldn't speak. Yeah. Uh, suddenly, I was in the, in the position to ask questions uh, that I would not have been able to ask before. Not even, not, not a matter of answers, a matter of questions. Having a, a, a five-year grant changes, I think, really changes your approach uh, to, to research. very, very general terms, the DRC project is about the relation between the mental and the motor. And uh, to try to understand how the mental shapes the motor and how we can read mental states from observing other people moving. Mental states are conceived as intracranial phenomena, so things that are locked inside the skull. And what our uh, uh, findings show is that mental states shape the way we move. So they translate into observable movement patterns. And uh, I think that this slightly changes the view of the mind, of mental states, because uh, this shows that mental states uh, become visible through movement. These um, passive reflective markers allow us to track movement kinematics and to track even very, very subtle variations that you would not be able uh, to see with the naked eye. And uh, they are very important for, for my work because it is, it's using this marker that we were able to demonstrate that intentions translate into differential movement patterns. Concerning the ERC project, the applications range from maintaining security at airports, uh, from developing new 
uh, forms of sensory motor interventions for children with autism. And to be honest, uh, uh, I have to admit that um, some of these applications, they were already included in the proposals, but other applications were completely unexpected. This is for sure uh, the, the most exciting moment in my career, but um, at the same time, it's a difficult moment because uh, it implies change. And uh, in the last years, change, things have changed very rapidly for me. Uh, and uh, I have been forced to rethink uh, my role as an academic and as a researcher more than once and now again and uh, every time um, every time this happens you feel unprepared unqualified uncertain and uh, at the same time uh, excited and I think that this is uh, how we could describe it as, a, as a, a side effect of doing challenging work. On, on the one hand, you feel pushed by excitement and on the other hand, at the same time, pulled by uncertainty. This is how I feel now. <laughs>